Hoboken Mayor Peter Camarano in office for just 23 days and 31st District Assemblyman L. Harvey Smith, who represents Bayonne, were among 44 people arrested this morning by agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the IRS Criminal Investigation Division. During a press conference held at the United States Attorney's Office in Newark, acting U.S. Attorney Ralph Mara Jr. outlined a two-track federal investigation of public corruption and a high-volume international money laundering conspiracy, which also involved the arrest of Secaucus Mayor Dennis Elwell and today resulted in the resignation of New Jersey's Commissioner of Community Affairs, former Bayonne Mayor Joseph Doria. We have details in the following report. Calling it one of the largest corruption cases in the state's history, acting U.S. Attorney Ralph Mara Jr. today said 29 people have been arrested, including assemblymen and mayors, underscoring the public nature of corruption in New Jersey. The FBI and IRS have also arrested and summoned 15 members of connected international money laundering rings, including five rabbis and their associates. Law enforcement personnel, with the assistance of one cooperating witness, first infiltrated a pre-existing money laundering network operating internationally between Brooklyn, Deal, New Jersey, and Israel. Mara says that network laundered tens of millions of dollars through charitable, nonprofit entities controlled by rabbis in New Jersey and New York. The investigation veered into Hudson County two years ago when the cooperating witness represented himself to be a developer and owner of a tile business who wanted to build high-rises and schools in the county. Then bribe-taking became heavily involved in the recent Hoboken and Jersey City elections. Mara says Assemblyman L. Harvey Smith is charged with taking $15,000 in bribes to help get approvals from state agency officials for building projects, while Camarano accepted $25,000 in cash bribes, including $10,000 last week, from the cooperating witness. Some of Mr. Camarano's noteworthy statements include, uh, at, on May 19th at the Malibu Diner, talking about the runoff election in Hoboken. He said, I could be indicted and still get 85 to 95 percent of the vote. Later in that conversation, he told the CW, the cooperating witness, I'm sorry, the CW, he broke the world down into three. People with us, you guys, people who climbed on board in the runoff, they have to get in line. And people who were against us the whole way, they get ground into powder. On June 23rd, when the CW offered $10,000, Mr. Camarano says, great, and we're going to be friends for a long time. Also charged from Hudson County or North Hudson Sewerage Authority Commissioner Michael Schaefer of Hoboken, former Assemblyman Louis Manzo of Jersey City, and Jersey City's Deputy Mayor Leona Baldini. Wayson Dunn, the special agent in charge of the FBI here in Newark, says this case, which spanned 10 years, is not about politics or religion. It's about crime and corruption. The people we arrested came from Ocean County, Hudson County, Union County, and Bergen County. The search warrants we executed today included search warrants on the offices and the residents of Joseph V. Doria, Jr., the New Jersey uh, <coughs> Commissioner, of the Division of Community Affairs and also Chairman of the New Jersey Meadowlands Commission. We also executed search warrants on the office of the President at St. Peter's College and on the office of a synagogue in Deal, New Jersey. Commissioner Doria has not been charged, but his resignation was asked for by Governor Corzine today and he complied. And the victims are the average citizens and the honest business people in this state. They don't have a chance in this culture of corruption. If convicted, Mayor Camarano and Assemblyman Smith each face up to 20 years in federal prison and a maximum statutory fine of $250,000.